Providers can easily control rate and depth of respiration and observe chest rise. Choose independent left, right, upper and lower lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns. The sounds can be auscultated anteriorly or posteriorly. Multiple sounds are available. HAL features bilateral chest drain sites at the fifth intercostal space to simulate therapy for pneumo or hemothorax. Alternatively, one could utilize the needle decompression site to relieve a pneumothorax. Either lung can be disabled at any time to simulate a collapsed lung. Proper intubation is extremely important for adequate lung ventilation. This simulator is equipped with the ability to exhale carbon dioxide with each breathing cycle. This will allow providers to use colorimetric devices like the EasyCap 2 CO2 detector, providing visual feedback about proper placement of an endotracheal tube. Enable this feature by mounting a replaceable cartridge of CO2 on Hal's lower right leg. The instructor can then adjust the level of exhaled CO2 through the software. HAL accommodates assisted ventilation, including BVM and mechanical support. My name is Rod McDonald with GoMart Scientific. I've worked in uh, adult critical care and anesthesia ventilation for 28 years. I'm here today to show you the dynamic lung model on the 3201. What we've made is a compartmentalized lung not springs and bellows, which results in very accurate, realistic waveforms on the ventilator in both resistance and compliance settings. Probably the first thing to note is that the dynamic lung model is completely contained within the chest of the 3201, not a piece of adjunctive equipment within the ventilator circuit. Now I'll give an overview of the different features and capabilities of the dynamic lung model on the HAL 3201. HAL has variable resistance and compliance settings. With the resistance settings, we have 10 different levels of unilateral or bilateral resistance. The resistance can be set uh, from a normal level, which he is on now, to a very tight, very stiff system that will uh, result in airway obstruction. Also, on the unilateral setting, HAL's chest rise is delayed, making for excellent observation of airway resistance problems. One of the strongest features on the 3201 is the fact that it holds PEEP and maintains PEEP from zero PEEP right up to 20 centimeters of water. We'll adjust the PEEP to five centimeters of water. Notice that the 3201 system holds PEEP as we can see reflected on the respiratory graphics as well as the very realistic result in peak inflation pressure within a few centimeters of water. I'll increase the PEEP to 15 centimeters of water.
Notice the resultant increase in PEEP as well as the resultant increase in peak inflation pressures within a few centimeters of water. The 3201 maintains the PEEP to peak pressure relationship throughout all PEEP levels. Howell's lung compliance, as mentioned, can be set from normal to very stiff or very loose. We presently see HAL on a setting of PEEP of 5, peak pressures of 20, uh, with a set tidal volume and assist control mode of 550. Now, if we make the compliance very low or make the system very stiff, we'll notice an increasing in the relative parameters, a peak uh, pressure of 31, 33. All this is being done while the mannequin is still operating in full scenario mode. Now, if we make the lung looser or increase the numeric compliance value, once again, while the mannequin is fully operational, maintaining complete realism while Hal is ventilating above his set peak level. We see a return to lower peak pressures and very realistic respiratory graphics. As mentioned, HAL has 10 variable resistance settings. Right now, we have HAL in a unilateral uh, resistance. And you can notice on the graphics that we have some very mild delay in expiratory flow. Exactly what you would expect with that level. Now, if we go to a more extreme situation with moderate resistance on both sides, we'll notice the very realistic delay in wave in expiratory flow rates. Once again, very important to remember, this can all be done while the mannequin is running, demonstrating worsening situations, making for very excellent scenarios.